Ellen, this is a look inside Rob Blagojevich's head, his living room, and his life, as it was and it is now. Tonight, the I-Team backstory of being Blago, it started with a phone call asking him to do an interview. It ended with four parts on Hulu. I've had a lot of different jobs in my life, and compared to some of the other ones, this one's really easy. Blagojevich's Hulu moment tonight actually has its roots in 2004 here at the Democratic Convention in Boston when the I-Team first exposed how then-Governor Blagojevich had state police cars driven cross-country so he could receive Secret Service-style protection, sometimes, as we found here in California, using Illinois cars on personal occasions, even blockading intersections so the governor could whiz through. So began a relationship that continued through his trials, imprisonment, and Trump release, culminating in our phone call last May requesting this sit-down interview for a possible in-depth look at his legacy. All right, you comfortable? Very. Everybody we talk to has said Rod is one of the greatest politickers, you campaigners you will ever meet, that I, I don't think he can give it up. ABC's Matt Knutson and Justin Allen produced and directed Being Blago. But it's also an interesting story when it comes to rehabbing those who have done public wrong. It's a tough watch if you're Rod Bogoyevich, in my opinion. Um, but I think there's some redemption and strength um, that is conveyed in the following episodes. I think we saw a few cracks occasionally in um, emotional moments. The start of the third episode is him recounting uh, his last day at home. And that, that felt like a, a very honest human, like an actual honest human moment. He talks about the nightmares he has he had in prison and the nightmares he has now. He talks at length about feeling like an underdog and feeling like he doesn't belong and feeling like he's, he's going to be found out. After months of camera access to the Bogoyevich household being Blago now being streamed on our partner site Hulu, the ex-governor telling our producers that he plans to watch it tonight. The real question is what happens tomorrow and the next day only a federal court case stands in the way of him running for Illinois office again. In our interview he said he's not interested in running for anything, but that was before the acclaim of a Hulu series. Stacy. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.